Hello everyone and welcome back to Fixing Tiny Tedious Things. Through this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create Google Web Stories. I've already been using Google Web Stories for a long time now and uh, this is my section for web stories on my website topitguide.com. Here you can see I have these many stories on the website. In total, there are around 10 stories now and all of them are appearing in Google. So if I go to Google's stories page, stories.google, here you can get all the information about Google stories. These stories appear inside Google app under discover. So to bring traffic to your website, it is a great feature and Google is pushing it these days. So it is important that you also create web stories for your website. So in this video, I'm going to take a look at creating web stories using WordPress. So here is my website topitguide.com slash web stories. This is the section I've created using Elementor and this holds all the stories I have posted so far. If I click on next, you can see the other stories. Here you see. So you will be learning how to do it. If I click on any of these stories, you will see how they appear. Right now I'm on desktop, but if you are on mobile, you will see it appearing on your screen, full screen. So let's click this first one. This is what it looks like. Now you can also create stories like this. And inside these stories, Google ads appear. Here you can see. This is a great way to earn more money through Google AdSense. So you'll be learning that as well through this tutorial. Okay. So let's go back to web stories on Google page once again. And here you can see stories meet their widest audience ever. See, this is Google app and inside Google app, your stories appear like this. 24 hours in New York City. All the famous publications are actually using Google Web Stories feature now and generating tons of traffic to their website. So why not you? So let's head back to WordPress and start creating web stories. By the way, this is my website topitguide.com. It is being hosted on Hostinger, one of the fastest growing uh, web hosting platform. And uh, you need one similar web hosting company that can easily handle web stories. So I recommend Hostinger. In the description box, you will find a link with the exclusive coupon code. If you use that, you will get discount. So get yourself a good hosting company before creating your web stories. So let's now go back and create web stories for entirely a different website. I have another website called pythoncoursesonline.com. So here I am inside one of my websites that still not using web stories feature. So I'm going to use web stories feature altogether here from scratch. So for that, you need to download one plugin. So let's go to the plugin section and click on add new. Here you need to search. This is the plugin that you need to use. It is by Google. So click on install now and hit activate. All right, so web stories plugin is activated and inside the left panel, you can see stories icon here. Click on it. This is what it looks like. Now you need to make sure that you go to the settings section first so that you can make the important settings beforehand because it saves a lot of time for you. First of all, it will ask you to add the publisher logo if you have one upload from here i do have one but uh, for this one uh, we require a logo which is small in size so i will be creating logo here but for this video i'm going to pause it and uh, move forward now then we have video cache make sure you click on that because you don't want your own server to be used too much and uh, let the Google CDN be used for this. Here you can see reduce hosting costs and improve user experience by serving videos from the Google cache. Okay. So stories archive page is by default this one. If you want to create 
one that I have created here you can simply choose custom but for the most part default is pretty good enough so let's keep it that way and inside the monetization you need to select the method that you prefer for ads uh, making ads appear on the web stories so I'm going to choose web, uh, Google Adsense and I'll be filling this detail later on it is not as tough to do it if you want I can show you in another tutorial but this one concentrates on creating stories so let's go ahead and now click on create new story okay so we are inside the story panel and we have this cool looking editor that does all the job for you so here you can see the panel look this is what the panel looks like this is the upload feature from here you can upload media this is the feature from where you can see the images and these images come from third party you can search here for the images that you want and these images are free from copyrights you can use them as much as you want and then here is the option for text layers from here you can use text these are elements shapes stickers etc you can use them from here okay and from here you can see all the pre-made templates all cover section quotes anything you want you can use from here and for the same you also have text formats pre-made here you can see for cover for steps for header and similarly there are more features and i'll be covering them as i create the first story for this by the way if you click on this whatever you did before can be undone so undo it okay it is a clean surface now i can create whatever i want inside this space first and the foremost thing if you are looking to get your web web stories ads from google you need to supply the adsense information beforehand that i showed you earlier and when you do that you need to ensure that you have at least eight slides here eight pages only then google ads will appear don't expect google ads to appear if you have less than eight pages of web story okay so first of all you need to give your web story a title here so i'm going to give it a title of top courses online in 2022 okay so this is going to be my title and just go to document and inside that document add your logo if you want and this poster image is very important and logo is also very important excuse me for that because i forgot to mention that earlier so inside here you need to enter story description story description could be about anything that you are writing about python courses online and that description appears inside search panel google search and then from here you can select either you want your page to go to the next page automatically or manual from here if you select auto you can give the interval time for each page to move to the next one so here by default they have seven seconds if you want to move, go to manual you can go to manual and whenever someone clicks on the next page only then the next page appears so whatever you want you can do that and if you have background audio you can upload from here taxonomies are the tags about the story you can add category and tags etc as you want so here i am going to write a story description okay so the description is done let's go back and create our story now from my experience what i know the first and the second page of the story are very important and once you have that you can create other pages 
using the same kind of design so that it saves you time so first page of the story is going to be about to python courses online so for that i'm going to search a photo click here python let's see if we can find images here you can see python image i can uh, right click on it and set as page background so this is my page background let it center here is here i have centered it and if i have to give it animation what i can do is i can select this and go to the right side panel click on design and from here i need to go to animation from animation i have these slides uh, designing animation animations so select any of that i'm going to select pan and zoom this is what it looks like now what i can do is i can click on it and go to filters and make this a uh, little blurred out because i have to add some content on front sides so let's use vision widget whatever it is called now i have to add text layer here so let's click on text layer and click on title one and i'm going to use title one like this make sure your title appears inside this border appearing on each side so let's give it a title to five python courses online okay now i can go ahead and uh, stretch it a bit so that it looks good when someone loads it okay so here it is now i'm going to give it the text size it is going to be about 65 and the color of the text needs to be white so that it appears clearly here we go let's select it first and then give it a color is for okay now again you can see it is not appearing well so what i can do is i can give it a background using text box here you can see earlier it is none let's go and click on fill so now it is filled and i can change the color of it let's make it black and give it a 50 percent of brightness okay so here it is appearing well now i can do one more thing if i don't want the text box i can use highlight feature so using highlight feature my text will appear like this it will only highlight the area which is for the text not the space around now i'm going to make it appear in center okay here it is now uh, if i want i can make it bigger the idea is to make your text inside the border and uh, it is very much like that okay now let's give this animation as well and that animation is going to be from same side here okay i'm going to give it fly in from left here it is so if i click on display button it shows how it is going to appear okay so you can play around with the design animation and if you want to give border around this you can also give it border so from here if i select uh, enter 2 it will have a border of 2 around the entire content but just play around with the design and see if it appears well or not uh, if you want to create border make sure you do not use highlight or fill feature consider it like this and this will appear well just play around with the color here i have the border and let's find out the color which suits here okay this is what it look like so still it is not visible enough so we can give it a fill of black or whatever color that looks good here 
let's click fill and now it's appearing well we can only improve the color density so it is going to be 70 percent now let's see top five python courses online this looks good now if you click on this eye you will see the preview of the story how it is going to appear on your device okay here it is top five python courses online now let's go back and create more pages so for that just click on this new page and give it page background you can either select page background color or image i prefer image but if you want to save bandwidth and make your web stories appear lighter you can use the background and play around so i'm going to use this background and i'm going to give it a title here and i'm going to give the title of the first course about python since i have my website python courses online and on that i have already created a lot of content about python so i can get some courses from here and add on my web stories this is not going to be a final web story i'm just going to show you how to create web stories so here you see from this article i'm going to pick five courses for the story okay the first one is 100 days of code the complete python pro bootcamp for 2021 you can pick this and go back to your story and add here now this appears a bit bigger so what you can do is you can change the font size here to 25 now it looks good okay and let's make it center center okay change the color I'm going to use it white here and then I'm going to add a border around around it if you want to make sure that your title is appearing inside a center use the alignments from here I'm going to select this alignment and it has perfectly centered the title now if you want you can increase the size here and if you want to make it bold you can click on here uh, it is bold now i'm going to give it a border as well so that it highlights the entire title so for that i'm going to use a border of two and then i'm going to add the color of the border it's going to be white now it looks good right so here i need to give it animation and that animation is again going to be fly from left okay that's it now i can talk about the course more here and for that i'm going to add an app add a paragraph here let's make it bigger so that it appears well and let's make it appear in center okay change the color first of all let's add some information from my website about the same since this is not going to be a live story i'm just using it for the demonstration so here synopsis of the course story paragraph and i'm going to make it appear center and white and i'm going to use animation for this as well and this is going to be popping up from above or maybe from down okay let's see and click on here okay here it is this is what it looked like 
if you want you can give this a border as well but i'm going to keep it that way and i'm going to use uh let's increase the font size for this as well to 25 okay okay so if you want to give uh people option to go to this page what you can do is you can add another tab here i'm going to use label and i'm going to call it learn more and to it i'm going to use link attribute so that whenever someone clicks on learn more they land on the course page let's make it white as well and use border so that it looks like a button uh, okay two and white again okay so it looks like a button now right now what we can do is make it center as well and now if you click on link button here you can add the url of the course which is here it is by the way an affiliate link okay so based on the link if it comes from your own website you can make it you can keep this this way but if you want to make an outside link on this story you can mark it as no follow if you don't want to pass your link juice to the other website so this is my first page after the cover page so let's click on this i here again and see how this is appearing all right and let's go to the next page okay this is what it looked like so what it, uh, to quickly finish this whole thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to make copies of this story so that we have at least eight stories so for, to do so what you can do is click on duplicate page okay we have three now again duplicate four five six seven eight now what you can do is to make things faster just go to the each duplicated story and change the title description and learn more links and if you want to change the backgrounds as well you can change the backgrounds as well this is how you will be creating eight stories in quick time and once you have the eight stories completed go to the document and add poster image i'm going to select one dummy image from here and use as the poster size okay so the poster size is here and here if you want to shorten the permalink of your story you can change from here so what i can do is i can remove top five and make python courses online like this now the story url is shortened and again i'm going to make sure that my page advancement is set to manual because i don't want people to be rushed through my pages they can manually click and go to the next page so if you want to give tags i'm going to give tags python simply one tag this is just for the testing purposes i'm not going to make this uh, story available online i'm going to delete it properly after creating this tutorial because i haven't completed the required process to make these stories appear inside my inside google so from here i'm going to select a dummy logo as well so let's click this one crop image okay so the logo is also here now here you can see i have public private and password protected settings for the most part you should use public if you want your story to appear everywhere on the internet so let's hit publish now finally all right story is published and if you click on view story it will appear like this since we created manual so i have to click here to move to the next page 
so this is how your stories will look like so i hope you have learned enough here like how to create web stories for google now once you have the web stories complete just go back to your google webmasters account and send this link using url inspection tool and this story will be indexed in google within five six days now when you have traffic on web stories like this they automatically appear in google discover so when they appear in google discover this is what they look like let me go to the webmasters tool and show you how the google web stories results look like here you can see you will see this discover feature appearing on your google webmasters left side and this discover feature is not default it only appears when you have your urls appearing in google discover so here is one of my websites for which i have discover showing and here you can see i got this much these many clicks through one of my web stories so this is what you need to do if you want to also create google web stories if you have any questions please let me know in comments i'll try my level best to answer all of your questions as soon as i can thank you for thank you for watching my video and please subscribe if you are new thank you